For the first time in U.S. history, a major disaster declared for all 50 states. This is concern grows over emerging hotspots. COVID-19 is becoming like a sniper in the viral war, silently taking out health care workers. COVID-19 infections on the rise in states such as Rhode Island, North Carolina and Pennsylvania. Saturday, the state announcing more than 1,600 new cases and at least 70 new deaths. As cases rise in Philadelphia, a shocking encounter caught on video. Even though there's no law mandating passengers must wear masks, police drag a man off a bus for not having one. Following the incident, local transport authority says it will no longer enforce the policy encouraging riders to wear masks. This is state's double down on social distancing. Now is no time to um, relax the social distancing. Some introducing new and tougher restrictions. Friday evening, Los Angeles extended its safer at home order until May 15th, the longest of any city. Also closing all parks and masks mandatory for essential businesses. This week in hard hit Michigan, residents can no longer visit friends or relatives. Those who have more than one home banned from traveling between them. All public and private gatherings of any size are prohibited. Restrictions leading to progress. On the front lines outside Detroit, signs the stay-at-home strategy is working. We're seeing a plateau of COVID cases uh, based on the volume that's coming to us through our front doors. And that is both a bit of a sigh of relief, but it's also this anticipatory pause and hoping that the trend continues. But the progress comes at a high price. In Florida, the line for this Miami food bank around the block more lives are lost. The state of Colorado's youngest victim, 21-year-old Cody Lister, died this week fighting the virus. Cody was young and he was healthy. He is proof positive that this virus does not discriminate against age. Amidst the tragedy, there's also hope. Washington state, once the country's outbreak epicenter, now a working example of how to flatten the curve. This week, an Army field hospital dismantled and returned to the Department of Defense without treating a single patient. Still in Seattle, concern. It's unclear how this will end. Right now, we don't have a clear picture of how this pandemic is going to kind of trail off. And that's the part that worries me is what we do to make sure that things don't get worse. Aaron joins us now. Aaron, you're talking to doctors on the front lines. What are they most concerned about? Well, Jose, doctors in Seattle tell me they're most concerned about complacency. As the situation improves and that curve flattens, they're worried that people are going to let their guard down and therefore there'll be more cases and potentially more lives lost. Jose? Aaron McLaughlin in Los Angeles. Thank you.